Welcome to another episode or adventure in Hosier Craft. Um, today I got something to go on with the Z525E John Deere Zero Turn. Um, if you want, you can get accessories for these. One of those is a hitch plate, and uh, they don't make it for a three point turn plate or a uh, three point hitch plate. They just make basically a regular hitch. Um, that was running like 60 bucks or more. But what I did, I'm going to show you how I made a, uh, a trailer hitch plate. I'm just a piece of steel with some drills and some bolts and also a couple turnbuckles. And now I have myself a three point hitch. So check it out. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please click subscribe. If you like the video, click like, leave a comment. If you do not like the video, click dislike, leave a comment. I will respond, I will like, I will reply. Thank you very much. Okay, basically, what I got here is I have a, a good quarter inch thick steel plate. And uh, the one they sell you for the hitch plate for these are a lot thinner, light weaker. You got some decent steel laying around. Drill a hole here, here, put some bolts in, lock it in. There's your trailer hitch. Put a bolt here. One trailer hitch, right there. You got an extended piece of angle iron I can use for just any regular old trail. I can make it longer, shorter, whatever I want. And then I have these turn buckles, which are adjustable um, in two directions. So I can make them longer or shorter, so I can have different angles, straight, sideways, the other way. By applying a hole here, a hole here, putting on two turnbuckles, now I suddenly have a three-point hitch. And that is a lot better than what they can sell you. And these are gonna cost you, you know, a fair amount for a decent three-point hitch. You can, you can uh, your turnbuckles, you can get them cheap, you can get them expensive, you can get them long, get them short. A lot of choices. I like these because they have a, that double swivel, so it gives me a little bit of variance for my rough terrain. And uh, this one I got pretty well locked in. I got this other hole now. If I want, say I want to make something a little different, I can add extension. I have lots of angle iron, so I can make various lengths for different applications. This one here is particularly going to be set up for a rake. So it doesn't need to be too far off. I can adjust it left and right. Um, this by itself is good for a trailer to pull something along. I don't need a gigantic bolt just to pull a small amount of grass or dirt or hay or whatever. So this is going to work for me. Uh, what works for you, you have to decide. But you can save a lot of money just by making some of your own stuff, drilling a couple of holes, adding a couple of bolts. Get a couple pieces, you're good to go. Okay, what I'm making my rake out of is basically a piece of angle iron, which is a little over 81 inches long. That's quite a wide area for a rake. Now, I did start off with measuring my holes out at a quarter inch, but considering the size of my hole, I figured that was a little too close. That'd end up almost being like a plow. So I spread it out to an inch apart because I'm making these holes. And then after I make these holes, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I have a crap ton of these really huge nails for various, for like construction projects that involve like big trees and logs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put those through the holes. I'll tack weld them on the back. I will bend them down and tack weld them to the side here and give them a little bit of a curve. And that's going to give me a really excellent raking format. And mostly it's just going to be, and I need a tough metal, not a hard metal. So those nails are going to be perfect for that. So I'm doing about every inch, drilling a hole my drill press. I'll get a review on this at some point. Be sure 
here and use plenty of oil. Go slow. Make it whole. Loosen it up. Move it down your mark to the next mark. Add a shot of oil. Go to your next hole. And after I get that done down along the hole length, I do have a couple of places marked out specifically for where I'm going to put my my uh, turnbuckle, my central piece, my other turnbuckle, so I can angle the rake as I see fit. And I can adjust that turnbuckle in accordance with how I desire with the length of the angle iron, or I can make a slotted hole in the angle iron. and uh, adjust that so that I can make it any kind of angle or length that I want. What I'm doing here is I'm going to use my 80 amp Chicago electric welder from Harbor Freight. Tack weld nails in these holes. I'll tack weld here and up here and then later I'll tack weld the back. Using basic rod. So, uh, see how that works out. coating here on the side and the back. And basically I'll do that all the way down the line until I uh, get my rake installed top and side and then the back. Get these nails to make a rake. give this sucker a try. Um, first we're going to run on the roughest terrain there right down the concrete see how that rakes up. And it's just a simple piece of angle iron with a bunch of nails stuck in. I don't have all the holes filled in yet. It's a trial run. Got it tied into my three point hitch. That center one's just a stabilizer. I've got it offset so it's cocked. I got one side slightly longer than the other so I can uh, kind of steer more for scooping it toward the wide side. I got the wide side out and see if that'll help uh, rake up some grass that I can use for my chickens for bedding and feed and whatever. So uh, we got a good area. So we'll give this a trial run. We'll see how it works. Well, here's one sweep. We'll try to pick up part of it very successful. I mean, I'd get another sweep out of it going back up. Yeah, it's picking up a lot of grass. So I think that rake is a success. Rock on. You see all that? That's from just that one pass down the driveway. Can't even imagine how much I'm going to get from all the fields. And I've already dumped this once. That's my second load just from one sweep down and up the driveway. And that's not even going to account for what all I can get out in all those fields. That rake is a success. I got it cocked to the side intentionally. See the longer and shorter. And uh, I think I'm going to extend it out longer so I can rake a little longer because it gets full quick. But that's a success. Here you go. Angle iron, a bunch of nails just to uh, grab it. Steel plate for a three-point hitch. Set yourself up with your John Deere. Z252E or what other zero turn you got or John Deere tractor or Kubota or whatever lawnmower set up for a hitch plate drill yourself a plate put your bolts in drill three holes get two turnbuckles 
And there you go. You can make yourself a rake, which would cost you 2500 bucks to buy. All you got to spend is a little bit of time, use some scrap material, buy your turnbuckles. You're good to go.